Okay, live stream is up. PC recording done. Cloud is rolling. Thank you. Good morning, everyone. Welcome to today's remote New York City Council vote of the Committee on Finance. At this time, would all panelists please turn on your video. To minimize disruption, please place electronic devices to vibrate or silent. Thank you for your cooperation. Chair Drum, we are ready to begin. Thank you. Good morning and welcome to today's Finance Committee meeting. I'm Council Member Daniel Drum and I'm Chair of the Committee. This morning we are joined by, just one moment, Council Members Koslowitz, Van Bremer, Kumbo, Rosenthal, Grudenchik, Adams, Amphrey Samuel, Moya, Lewis, Diaz, Mario, and Gibson. Today, the committee will be voting on a single item, a resolution sponsored by Council Member Moya that would support the state's passage of uh, Senate S4482, Assembly 5092, sponsored by Senator Jessica Ramos and Assembly Member Carmen De La Rosa, respectively, which would establish a tax on billionaires. The proposed mark to market tax would tax the increase in value of billionaires assets at the same rate as other income. Unfortunately, this pandemic has highlighted the growing wealth inequality in our state with the state's 120 billionaires seeing a collective wealth jump of 17% or $88 billion since the beginning of the pandemic. This has occurred while so many of the state's residents are struggling, including undocumented essential workers who are barred from receiving certain assistance like unemployment insurance, even as they have showed up every day at great personal risk to take care of the elderly, deliver our meals and clean our homes. Therefore, the resolution calls on the state to use the revenue from the tax on billionaires to pay for a $3.5 billion fund for such excluded workers. I'm going to welcome Council Member Moya to say a few words about his uh, resolution. Council Member Moya. Thank you, uh, Chair Drum. Thank you for uh, your leadership um, in helping put this forward. And thank you to my colleagues. Uh, of course, immigrant uh, dense neighborhoods have been the hardest hit by COVID-19. These are uh, the neighborhoods and the communities that I represent, the very people that were on the front lines taking care of us and feeding our families and keeping our cities moving. Uh, these are the people who paid taxes, contributed millions that provided relief for so many, but they themselves were excluded. Healthcare workers, food delivery workers, cab drivers, construction workers, janitors, building and house cleaners, and so many others. For us to work towards a real recovery from COVID-19 means that we cannot leave behind those that have suffered the brunt of this pandemic and who contributed in more ways than one to our city and to this nation. It means the rich can't keep getting richer while New Yorkers struggle to make ends meet after not only putting their lives at risk for us, but becoming ill from COVID-19, losing their jobs, or even worse, losing loved ones uh, who were the breadwinners. New York's 120 billionaires are 87.7 billion richer than they were at the beginning of the pandemic. Uh, they are not dealing with the heavy burden of how they will pay for rent or get their next meal. That's why I'm introducing this resolution calling upon the New York State Legislature to pass and the governor to sign to establish the Billionaire Mark to Market Tax Act and to use the revenue generated to establish an excluded worker fund. The imposition of this tax would raise up to $23.3 billion in the first tax year and $1.2 billion or more in subsequent tax years. This billionaire wealth tax would raise the billions we urgently need and create the opportunity for 270,000 people, included, including 87 people leaving incarceration and 187,000 undocumented immigrants to get much needed relief after what has been a devastating year. It's how we will recover from this pandemic equitably and with dignity. And I want to thank you for joining me and ask uh, for you to uh, pass this resolution. And I take this opportunity to also thank Speaker Johnson uh, and Jason Goldman and uh, all the folks uh, that were involved in uh, helping uh, get this resolution um, here today. Thank you, Chair, um, for the opportunity to speak today. Thank you, Council Member Moya. <clears throat> And um, we have also been joined by Councilmember Powers. 
Uh, are there any questions on this resolution? Seeing none, uh, I am going to ask the committee clerk to call the, uh, the finance committee roll. Matthew DeStefano, committee clerk, committee on finance, roll call vote on the pre-considered resolution in regard to the market tax act. Chair Drum. I vote aye. Kozlowitz. Aye. Ben Bramer. I vote aye. Gibson. Good morning, I vote aye. Combo. Good morning, I proudly vote aye. Rosenthal. With congratulations to council member Moya, I vote aye. Rodenchik. Permission to explain my vote, Mr. Chairman? Of course. Uh, thank you. Um, I am generally not a fan of this sort of taxation um, and uh, was ambivalent coming to the vote this morning. Uh, but uh, Councilman Moya has made a very good uh, presentation and a very moving one at that. And I understand the great need um, to take care of everybody uh, in this pandemic and that no one should be left behind. So with that, I will vote aye. And I thank him for put, continuing to put this before the people of the state of New York. Thank you. Thank you. And just before we continue, I just want to, somebody has a television or a radio on, if they can mute themselves, please. Thank you. Adams. I vote aye. Amprey Samuel. I vote aye. Moya. I vote aye. Powers. Aye. Lewis. I vote aye. Dharma Diaz. I vote aye. Mario. I'm voting no. And by a vote of 13 in the affirmative, one in the negative, and no abstentions, the pre-considered resolution has been adopted. Okay, I think we're going to close out now then. Uh, at this moment, this meeting uh, is adjourned at 9.43 a.m. in the morning. Thank you to